Mr Chairman, I think a good name for this bill would actually be closing the gate after the horses bolted bill. Let me read a quote, Mr Chair. It says, the government, and I quote, the government is looking into a monitoring scheme for serious offenders being deported into New Zealand. Now, is that a quote that came from the minister that we've heard in the debate in the last couple of days? No, that is a quote dated the 25th of January 2015. Minister, your government has been well aware of this all year, for longer than this, and yet you tell us that a bill has been drafted in the last 10 days? This is an issue that has been on the table. Mr, Mr. Chair, that quote is from the press. That quote isn't from a select committee paper or from, um, or from some sort of uh, article that, was, uh, that was, we got out of the Official Information Act. That was in the press. This is a bill that should not be here under urgency because it should have been passed by this House about six months ago when we realised there was a real problem here. Mr Speaker, if we have a look at this bill and the words that make up the title, which is what we're debating, the first one is returning. Now, if you look at the Oxford Dictionary, which is used as the legal benchmark for the definition of language, it says, and the meaning is, come or go back to a place. Now, Mr Speaker, as Kelvin Davis has alluded to, there are some people who are actually being deported back to New Zealand from whence they had never come. There is no provision in this bill, Mr Speaker, to send a, a, an offender back to the city that their family might have come from or where their support networks might be located, if in fact they have any support networks. As we have heard, they get $300 in their back pocket when they land in New Zealand. Now, if their family is from Invercargill, from Napier, from, from anywhere else in the country, they have zero ability to even get back to a place where they may have an opportunity to start a new life where they just might have an opportunity to become a productive citizen. There's no provision for that whatsoever. Let's go to the next word, offenders. Now, Mr Chair, I think in the 21st century, one of the basic tenets of our democracy is you give people a second chance. If they have made a mistake, which means, means they end up in jail, they have done their time once they, once they leave that. It doesn't matter what the mistake was or how bad it was or what previous life that they, that they led. If they have served their time, then they deserve a second chance. They are not offenders once they are out of jail. That is a misnomer, and I think it, is a, it, is, it, it denies these people an ability for a second chance for where their support networks are, where their families are, and where they had built a life. Let's have a look at, um, uh, at the next word, and that is management. Mr, Mr. Chair, when you look at the dictionary definition of management as well, it, it, it normally has a proactive connotation. It's about um, a way forward. Now, this bill provides no way forward for any of these offenders or these Kiwis or Australians returning back to New Zealand. We have not heard how they are going to be managed that will allow them again to transition from the life they came from, from the detention centres they were in, from the jails where they spent time, back to being productive members of society. And that must be the ultimate game for any community, to make sure that people have a second chance and that we put the processes in place, the management in place, which allows them to once again have the opportunity to become productive citizens. Then we go to the next word. Well, let's forget and. Let's go to information. What is this information going to be collected for? The minister, the minister has provided no indication whatsoever how this information is going to be used in a proactive way to once again allow these people to get on their feet and become productive members, which is what we need to do. So this is not the returning offenders management and information bill. It should be the government mismanagement and non-information bill. Because what this is dealing with, Mr Chair, is one point in time. A specific point in time when a person from Australia who has done their time lands in New Zealand. That is that. It doesn't deal with the situation that then arises for our communities and for the person who has returned to New Zealand. It doesn't tell us how the community or what the community is going to provide for these people that will allow them to become productive citizens. It doesn't allow us, it doesn't provide us with any opportunity for what that person themselves is going to be responsible for or how they are going to give, be given any sort of management plan to allow them to integrate. Uh, Jono Naylor. 
I move that the question be now put. Uh, the question is that the question be now put. Those